Hello my dear friends, today we will uh, use the Technam and we are at the Birfer airport and uh, specifically at the runway 08 where I will uh, take the airport, we line up, uh, we perform the check before departure which is very important and definitely in the case of uh, twin engine particularly we perform the briefing what is going to happen in case uh, we, we lose the critical the left or the right engine um, we go slowly with the throttles and uh, in this case um, as soon as you start uh, on the runway you are waiting absolutely for the rotating speed and um, when you are ready you try to bring the gear up and uh, this you need to do very very fast and to reach the blue line speed and of course Birfeld is very particularly because the takeoff of the Rizzo 08 in order to take the left hand downwind is very particular because uh, you need to take care uh, not to lose your engines. And now we are at uh, the left uh, hand downwind for uh, runway 08 and um, we will climb uh, direction uh, west where we will come back uh, and uh, land on the runway 08. Here we are at uh, Sector West and you see on the magnifier you see the airport and the particularity for the Sector West is that you need to be at uh, the 4000 feet and then you uh, go directly overhead as you see on the design and uh, then the particularity is that you need to remain overhead uh, while descending at the circuit altitude which is 2000 feet so you need to go to come overhead and then make a, a left turn uh, while preparing your gear your flaps and then you will come go left and then left again to land uh, on the runway 08 and in this case we will also perform a touch and go now as you see I am uh, overhead and uh, the gear is already down i bring the props forward and uh, basically i am on the left uh, downwind for uh, runway 08 and then i enter the base and uh, as you see it's it's a uh, it's a small circuit actually for a twin engine and you need to do many things at the same time. Now I am on the base and uh, the aeroplane is uh, prepared. Check the pubs that are on, the gear is down, the props are forward, carburetor heat is off and uh, you see forward is the um, runway 08. Uh, you need to keep the blue line in this case but um, sometimes uh, you cannot have this the point is that uh, in case you need to do a touch and go you need to put the airplane as, uh, as at the beginning of the runway if possible that uh, you have uh, enough runway in case something happens to your engine that you have sufficient runway to take immediate reactions and um, this is a very very critical point and uh, this is very important to know in, in the small twins 
The small twins are, are very dangerous on the takeoff. Maybe it's the most uh, dangerous phase and uh, you need to be sure what are you going to do in case you lose uh, an engine. As you see here, before is the, there are very big uh, streets and uh, if you lose the engine here there is the wood and maybe here you can put it down. Um, for me it's very important uh, in a small twin if you lose the engine you need uh, to see if you go up first of all and uh, the decision to go forward or not has to do what is the position of the gear. It doesn't mean that uh, if uh, you are in the blue line and uh, you are clean, that means gear up and flaps up, the aeroplane will continue to climb. So you need to take uh, immediately care in case you, you lose the engine that you, you see if you are climbing. Now we are at the touch and go and uh, by counting the time you see how um, short and uh, this airport is in the circuit. As soon as you go up you are already on the base and finals and this is what we are doing uh, actually. We are again on the finals and uh, there will be also another touch and go and we will uh, try to put it at the beginning of the runway 08 and immediately as you put it down you need to put the throttles forward and uh, bring the flaps on the takeoff position and in this case uh, this will help you to keep the speed as soon as you go you need to bring the gear up and uh, try to keep the blue line that's why i'm a little bit low here but here is a very very particular place if you lose the engine so you need to take it away from here as soon as possible and here you see there is something like an open space that you can uh, in case it is not climbing to put it down in case of uh, engine lost we are now at the downwind and um, we are proceeding according to the situation. Here I put for your uh, information a table with the takeoff procedure and uh, the way I'm doing it for me. You can stop the video and you can check uh, all the important information but uh, you need to know that with a twin engine you need to be exact with these figures it is not like a single engine and here uh, I start performing steep turns steep turns in a twin engine is more challenging than a single engine and uh, in the Technam you really need uh, to to keep it you need an effort to keep it in, in a good uh, stage with the horizon and all this. You always need to make uh, corrections and, uh, and uh, because the plane is not stable when you are making uh, turns, you need to work with your aileron, you need to work with elevator to keep the height and keep your turn high within the limits of 100 feet. We are on the same level here. We are taking left and run and start a left turn. And it's uh, the same thing uh, again. You see, I don't touch uh, the throttles. You need to have the uh, uh, technum already prepared before you enter the turn. That means I enter the turn normally with 100 uh, plus knots that I have the right insertia to keep the, the high of the turn on within the limits of 100 feet.
and uh, here again I just uh, perform, I lower the throttle of the left engine. Attention, this is not an one engine in operating procedure. Normally one engine in, so in operating procedures you are performing with an extractor. You only do this uh, in case to have a feeling of the yo effect, in case you reduce uh, uh, one uh, engine. As you see the left throttle is uh, in the idle position and of course you need to compensate uh, with uh, a little bit higher thro throttle on the right engine which is not needed. A twin engine is extremely safe in case you lose an engine on the cruise. The difficulties uh, are particularly on the takeoff, which is uh, really the most critical moment in twin engines of uh, around uh, 1000 kilos, I mean small twins. This is uh, in the most of the case uh, impossible to overdo. And here I placed for you on the magnifier the moment that I take the throttle back in order for you to see much more better. The only reason for doing this, since this is not a one engine in, operator, in operating procedure and because you don't have the surprise effect that you need to react normally and this is done only with one instructor, the only Think that and the reason of doing this is that uh, you just want to have the feeling of the reverse yo effect depending on the motor that you are uh, reducing the power. And here we are coming back uh, uh, the same way to the, via the sector west. It is important that you keep an altitude of 4,000 feet, middle sea level, and then you need to go again the same way. Uh, the runway that day it was uh, remained the same, so you need to go again on the overhead and then uh, get the left downwind for uh, zero 08. The difficulty for a twin engine is that uh, this airport, all the reactions, you need to do this on the inner side of the downwind, and by no way you need to go outside the circuit in case uh, something is happening. So you need to do many things uh, in the same moment, and uh, I also want to show you the landing procedure. In, in this case, you can stop the video to see. I summarized all together in one paper that you see the numbers that I use uh, regarding the landing procedure. And here I am at uh, the circuit. I just make the last checks. Uh, you, one moment, you don't need to forget uh, the props and the carburetor hits. Since uh, if you have the carburetor hits on, it really reduces a lot of power. 
Uh, it is very important and it is very good that uh, you make uh, the check for approach and of course the final check which is the gear, the prop control, the carburetor heat that has to be off and of course the flaps has to be at the uh, landing position. Attention, if you are landing with the one engine in operating, in this aeroplane you only need to approach and land with the flaps at the takeoff position. Never forget this and never land with one engine in operating with full flaps because the aeroplane is not in case you decide to ab abort the landing and uh, you don't have enough power to climb. So one engine in operating in Technam always land with the flaps at the takeoff position. And here I am at uh, the parking position. Uh, while parking this aeroplane, you need to be extremely carefully uh, with the angle that you are uh, turning it. You don't need to extreme turn it. You need to take uh, uh, to make a, a high radial turn. Otherwise, you will break uh, the cover of the front wheel. And uh, in case you like this video, please be so kind to subscribe on my channel in case you would like to do so. And this will give me the opportunity to make more videos like this for you. Of course, the next video uh, will be with a single engine and we will try to fly the Alps. Thank you.